Okay, here we're going to do the word history. So, let's try this out first. The simplest possible way to connect them would be H, I, S, T, O, R, Y. Now, we can have some fun with this. First of all, we've got our ST combination. As we all know, the, the T also has an alternate form, which is the reverse curve, so that you can just follow it out of the S like so. As, so this is S, T, and this is T, S. And then you can keep going S, T, S, T, or T, S, T, S. Okay, history. Well, now, if we use that version, we go H, I, S, T, O, R, Y. Another thing we can do is the H at the beginning of the word H, I combo. We can go like so and just connect the I directly onto the H bar and drop that downward bar. How do we know this is an H? Well, there's only two characters that have this horizontal bar, and that is D and H. Well, if it's the H and it starts the word, it doesn't have the bar. If it's D, it would have this. So the fact that it's not a D makes it clear that it's an H. So we can go H, I, S, T, O, R, Y. Okay, what else can we do? Well, the I, S, there's a special combination. We often use this just for the word S. We kind of just draw the S curve directly onto the I. So this part would catch a word, and then you just have another curve in it, like so. Um, this is clearly an S because you're ca this, this part is not catching it. That's how you know this is not an I. And this part is catching something, and that's how you know that is not an S. Remember, the aspect of the I that's most important is that it catches a word line. So anyways, as we see, we could use that. So we could go H, I, S. And yeah, you can put that on top of the line there. It doesn't matter because you read them in sequence. First, you'd read the H bar, and then you'd read the I, and then you'd follow through, follow with the word line. S, and then you go T, O, R, Y. But I'm not a huge fan of that. We could also try putting it there, the, the, the T there. So we go S, T, and then you go O, R, Y. Or we could try putting everything on top of, the, on top of that H bar there. So we just start it, basically. And we go H I S. Sorry, we need to catch the S first. S T O R Y. History. That's actually kind of cool. It gives you this kind of flowing to the right motion. Um, now, to actually symbolize the idea of history, that's a little hard, but we've got a good word to work with because we've got this kind of H I S T O R Y. You know, I'm kind of, what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to find a way to make this look like a path that you follow. Um, just because that kind of, in my mind, would visualize history. There's a horizon, there's a path, there's somewhere gone and somewhere passed by and events that followed. So, this story. History.